guys welcome back to my channel my name is Maddie if you're new today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my everyday makeup look this is what I wear if I decide to wear makeup as you guys probably know if you um, are a subscriber I really don't wear makeup that much but this is what I wear when I do or if I just want to look a little nicer or put together also I'm gonna be answering a couple questions in this video so I'm hoping you guys get to know me better so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right you guys so the first thing that i do whenever i do my makeup i have obviously a lot of hair so i like to put it like keep it out of my face i always wear this headband it's the only headband i have and it's kind of um obnoxious but it keeps my hair out of the way so this is just the one that i always use i got it from forever 21 so i'm gonna also be answering questions this will be like a little q a while i get ready and if i forget to mention any of the products that i'm using i'll make sure i put them all down below and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get started so the first thing that i always do before i apply makeup is obviously i wash my face and then i moisturize it so i did all of that so we are going to go in with primer so for primer I'm just using this Laura Mercier radiance foundation primer this is amazing I am definitely considering buying the full size of it um, it just feels so nice on the skin and it gives you like a nice subtle glow all right the next thing I go in with is this for Sally unicorn essence on my face I do like three drops like yeah all right so um, I'm just going to tell you guys a couple things about me that I think are kind of interesting and then I'll just start answering questions. Um, but I know a lot of you wonder how old I am. I am 19 years old. Um, my birthday is April 13th. Yeah, I still feel like I'm actually like six years old. So it's really crazy. All right, next, the brush I'm going to use for my foundation is this Tarte Buffing Brush, and I just spray it with this Hangover Setting Spray to kind of, like, get it a little bit damp. And then for concealer, I'm using this Rimmel Match Perfect um, concealer. It has, like, a little brush like this, and I just squeeze it out, and then I just put it on under my eyes and all over all my breakouts. Most of it's just scarring, but um, that's what I do. Um, I have a twin sister. Her name is Allison. I want her to be in my videos. Um, she's my best friend in the whole entire world. And I also have a little brother, Xander. He's eight years old. He's also my best friend in the whole entire world. I'm very, very family oriented. I'm so close to my family. I love them so much. So, yes, it's nice being home. Um, for school now because I went to a big state university four hours away from home last year and now I'm at a community college um, and I just love being home but yes my sister comes home next week from college for Christmas break and we're gonna film a video together I think she's amazing we're fraternal twins and she has blonde hair and we look nothing alike I will put a little picture of us when we were little all right, and then I'm just gonna buff this in. Um, I think I mentioned in a video before, I have a boyfriend. We've been together for um, like five years. So that's pretty crazy. He's amazing. Next, the star of the whole show is this Maybelline New York Fit Me. This is the dewy and smooth um, foundation. I'm in 310 Sun Beige. This is when I'm like, fake tan if not this is way too dark for me but yeah I love this this is amazing like I forgot how much I love this I just use it all the time so yeah the only thing is I wish I had like a little pump but it doesn't so I'm just gonna dot this all over my face and then buff it in with that same tart brush So I'm going to talk about some of my favorite TV shows because I love watching TV. Um, I love, I'm thinking of like Netflix stuff. I love Grey's Anatomy, obviously. Um, American Horror Story. Gossip Girl, The Office is amazing. It's so good. 
so funny. And make sure you blend it down your neck and on your ears. And I should also mention that I'm someone who, like, I either wear no makeup at all, like, obviously you guys can tell my vlogs I look like I got hit by a truck most of the time, or I do, like, full, like, full face of makeup. I'll never just wear mascara or just do eyebrows or just do foundation. I have to do, like, all of it, so that's just kind of what I, like, I don't even bother if I'm just gonna do one thing. Um, so I like to do all of it. Very into makeup. I definitely don't wear it as much now as I did, um, you know, when I was in high school. I cheered. That's like another fact about me. I cheered for all four years. I did football cheer, basketball cheer, and then I did competitive. So we were always doing fun makeup looks and like all my friends were super into makeup. So we'd always experiment with different like palettes and stuff. Um, but I just don't do that as much anymore. I'm hoping one day to maybe move out to California after my, like after I graduate. Um, I don't know. Um, it's always been a dream of mine. I actually went out, flew out there and looked at colleges out there, but it just was so far from home that I don't think I could actually ever commit to doing that. But yeah. Um, next I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York Fit Me. This is the Shine Free and Balance. This is in 355 Coconut. They're like the foundation sticks. And I just get a darker one to contour with. So I'm going to do, I do a little line like that. And then I just take the same brush and just buff it in. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then I like to go up on my forehead here. And I will like go crazy with this in the summer when I'm already bronzed. Sometimes I won't even use a foundation. I'll just use this to bronze up my skin. Because normally in the summer, like, I don't know, I feel like my skin's better. Um, I actually wanted to talk about too, I'm sure you guys can tell in my videos, I have pretty bad acne around like my mouth area. And I'm pretty sure it's due to stress. So I'm hoping that it'll like clear up on break because that's what I did last year. I was home for like two days and it was like already like clearing up which is crazy kind of going around and buffing everything in before I go in with powder okay so now we're done with our base next I'm gonna go in with this HD flawless setting powder it's from the brand absolute New York it looks like this I have never ever ever heard of this brand before I literally picked this up at Marshall's because it's a banana powder and I've never had it's a brightening banana powder Never had a banana powder before, and I was like, okay, I'll just try this. It was like $3. This stuff is amazing. I have very oily skin, especially like in my T-zone, and if I set my face with this, it will last all day, and it's not so yellow where you look like I have a yellow cast. It's just the perfect setting powder. I'm almost all gone, so I'm going to see if I can like find it online or something because it's so awesome, and I just kind of put it in the lid, and then I take a Real Techniques expert face brush and it's just kind of like this and then I'll just um set under my eyes and basically my whole face I have a dog Bronson um he's been in a couple of my videos he's always standing by me when I'm eating he loves food um he is a blue Weimaraner so he has like a tint of blue in his fur he's just the best thing ever he's so cute okay next I'm gonna go in with the hula bronzer by benefit and then I'm just taking this MAC brush. It's either the 187 or 188. It's the smaller stippling brush. Um, my brushes are like, have the names all worn off, so I'm sorry about that. But I just stipple it in here, and then I just kind of go right here. I don't even know. Under my cheekbone? I don't even know what that name is. I can't think. Other side, don't worry. Don't freak out. We're going to blend it. And then I'm going to go up here but first I need to blend it because it's bothering me so I'm just going to take this brush again and just kind of blend. Alright I just thought that was recording and it wasn't but what I just did was I took the bronzer and I put it up here and then I just lightly with the extra on here I contoured the sides of my nose and then I just put a little under my lip because my lips are non-existent and then I'm just going to kind of blend everything together so there's no harsh lines um i want to talk about movies my favorite thing in the world is going to the movies i love going to the movies um a couple of my favorite movies one of 
um, a recent movie, kind of recent, compared to my other, like, all-time favorite ones, is Bad Moms. You guys, if you have not seen the movie, it's, like, the funniest movie ever, and it's not, like, one of the ones that they just show the funny parts in the commercial. It's, like, funny the whole way through. It's amazing. Um, and then some of my all-time, all-time favorite movies, and I want to know if you guys have ever seen any of these, because if you do, I will, like, freak out, because it'd be awesome. Um, so I can, like, bond with you guys in the comments over how amazing these movies are. But I have a couple favorites. The first one is... The Fearless Vampire Killers, it's very old, but it's like with Roman Polanski, Sharon Tate, um, Detroit Rock City, um, The Lost Boys. Like, I'm obsessed with, like, murder documentaries. Like, I'm so, like, intrigued with the mind of how, like, people, why people do what they do and kind of, like, behind, like, these people who do these, these horrible, like, horrific, um, things to people. I just think it's, like, why are they doing that? And, like... Oh my goodness, like, ugh. Like, my favorite project in all of school was for my sociology class. We had to do a project on, like, deviance. And I did the Manson family, or Charles Manson, and, like, the whole Manson family. That is, like, the craziest thing ever. And I know people on YouTube do videos of, like, different, like, cases that's happened. Would you guys be interested in that? Because I would love doing that. Sorry, I got uh, off topic there talking. I kind of like being scared. Um, I know a lot of people don't. It's kind of weird, actually. So the next thing I like to do is blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And this one is in Expose. It looks like this. It's um, It was like a sample. So I've just been using it. And I'm just taking this angled Sigma brush. This blush is so pretty. I'm thinking about getting the full size. And then I'm going to go in with my eyebrows. As you guys can see, my eyebrows are super dark. I go in with this is the Brow Fix Brow Kit by Milani. Um... I got this years ago, like so long ago, as you can see. I just mixed the light and dark powder. I do um, mostly dark. They say if you have dark eyebrows, go two shades lighter. And if you have light eyebrows, go two shades darker. I just kind of like mix the two because I'm really not filling in. I'm just kind of looking where there's like a little mud, like a little bit of bald spots at the beginning. And I'll just do that. Oh, and sorry if you can hear basketball. Of course, my brother decides to play basketball. We have a hoop downstairs, so he's using that with his friends but next so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to comb them through to kind of blend the like brown powder in so there's no harsh lines next what I like to do is go in with highlighter um, I've got a couple samples recently so um, that's why I'm using a lot of little mini stuff this is the sorry this is the Laura Mercier highlighter and it's really pretty Ooh, it looks like this um, this is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder, and it's Highlight 01. So I'm just going to take this big sibling brush from MAC and, and tap it off, and then go on my cheekbones. And then I like to go just a little bit above, like, my brow. Again, like, I get oily on my face, so I don't like to have, like, it all over my face. And then I take it and I do it on the tip of my nose. And then a little bit on the top here on the bridge. And then I do my Cupid's bow. And then I like to go on my neck. So I'm trying to hurry up because it's getting a little bit dark out, so sorry if the lighting's change. I feel like in the winter it's light for like two hours and it starts getting dark, but we're gonna push through and finish off this look. We only have a couple steps left. So this is the palette that I'll be using for my eyeshadow. This is the Take Me On Vacation palette from Kylie Cosmetics. Like, are you kidding me? These colors are awesome. So the good thing about this palette though, or like the look I'm gonna be doing, is I'm using like two browns in here so they have like browns in every palette so I'm gonna be using this brown in the crease and this brown is called coconut it's just like a matte brown you could even use a bronzer and then I'm gonna be using this reddish brown color and this is in spray tan so I'm just gonna be mixing these two colors in my crease and I'm gonna be switching off between this Sigma blending brush and then this Tarte blending brush I always use this one first and then I go in with this one because it's super soft and fluffy. So I'm just going to put it in my crease right here to give it some dimension. Then what I like to do, this shade that I'll be using here is called Summer 17. And then I'll be taking this gold and mixing it. And this one is paradise so I'm mixing these two together it's just a like shimmery champagne color and then a gold shimmer color and I just use my finger so I'm moving quickly in front of my vanity mirror because I know it was getting super dark I'm so sorry about like the lighting and I'm gonna put on this pixie black eyeliner I got from Target 
Okay, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes with this e.l.f. eyelash curler. So then I'm gonna go into mascara. I use three different kinds. The first one I'm gonna be using, the yellow is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. Then I'm gonna be using the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. And then this Dior Dior Show Mascara. this Marilyn Monroe shimmer shadow and you can take any white shimmery color this is just the one I use and I put it on my pinky and then I just kind of go on the inner corners and as you can see it makes my eyes pop so much more last step I'm just taking this L'Oreal Paris infallible never fail lip liner in plum and I'm going to line my lips all right and then for lipstick I'm using the balms lipstick in Maybelle's be paid and this is my favorite lipstick of like all time ever and it's just kind of like this nude and then for gloss I've been loving the Dior lip maximizer lip gloss I actually just bought the full size of this because I'm obsessed Alright you guys, so thank you so much if you've stuck through the whole video. This is the finished look. Um, it is a lot of makeup, but this is just personally what I like to do when I wear makeup. I hope you guys found some products um, in this video that you might end up trying and let me know if you do. And let me know if you guys like this video. Um, like I mentioned in my previous vlog, I'm on Christmas break now, so I have so much more free time to film. So if you guys have any video requests, make sure you let me know down below. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!